Hey guys, today's another video, and today we're playing some Slug It Out 2. And here we have a bunch of slugs, of course. But this is what I, this is the team I use for this game. I use Megamorph and Furnace. I use Dark Furnace, Boon, Boondog, and Smuggler. This is a team where it will guarantee it will guarantee me a win. Basically, the Smuggler is used to destroy my enemies and let me use waves and waves of slugs. Dark Furnace and and, and Infernus are used to, for, to destroy. And obliterate. I'm soon gonna give all of them. Sorry. Uh, I have. I'm also using Boondock, of course, to heal. Since Dark Furnace level 9 does 304.9 self damage. While Smuglet does. Honest, it doesn't say. It's still. It's not time yet. But look, this is how many selects I have. I am missing one star hop rock, phosphoro, or tomato, or tomato. <laughs> I have every single two star. I need a net, attack net, ampling, bubble ash, frost fang, pyringo, and of course I need all the elementals. I don't have any of the elementals at all. I did not spend a single coin. In this game. Let's get into the battle, shall we? First things first, I want to test this in. Um, I think I'm going to raise this. To raise my guy up. I'll raise it. I'll raise a couple. Yeah. Let's go for it. So let's see here. Over here, and then here, okay. this is where I'll take this. Sorry about my brothers, of course. Found back, back in my own. Let's just see here. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Then I'll drag it down. And look, I'll just spawn them. And then God heals me on the way. You see how the guys are? How look at this. Look at their slugs and look at my slugs. This is how you win. This is an, an indestructible push. And this is how I basically skimmed through the whole game. As soon as I got smuggled, I started using it. And that's when I found out I can, I can use this sort of trick, basically. Because it helps. Even stage one smuggler can do this. Not for not not as long as stage three, but still a really, really long time. Not only that, but hang on. That's that so far happened. Um did I do this? No, I don't think I started the daily. Hmm. Wait, actually, um, last week already happened, so I can start a new weekly of Chillabore Cavern. And yes, I, I know my guys by heart. I know the names. I'll show you. I have a pretty good memory, so I can e so I can easily remember most of the time. When it comes to things like Pokemon or things based off of Pokemon, you can gosh, typically do. So let's see, they have Spike Shade. They're using Fedingo, Tazerling, and Speedstinger. Besides Space Stinger, anyways, is the very first slug you get. And the very first slug you basically just face. Oops, I messed it up. 
like, oh, okay, I can do it right away from here. And already start building up. But I don't even need to because my, um, what's it called? My Mega, hang on, my Mega Morph in Furnace does, deals tons of damage. No matter what stage she is. He's an asset you must have, and the best part, in Furnace is the very first slug you get. Amazing. The story, I already completed the story. And yes, I used this, and I destroyed in the story. And I'm not going to spoil anything about the story. But let's just say one thing. It doesn't once let you battle black. At all. Like, look, I can use a stage one and it'll still work. Just not as long. See? Still just enough to be able to actually deal some heavy damage with my Megamorphin Furnace. Plus Boondock is a tremendous help, especially with how much damage the, um, they can, um, the ghouls can actually deal against you. Because every time you use one, it damages you. So it's like a win-loss situation. You never truly win-win unless you, oops, Unless you get something like Goondog. Even Goondog is pretty good. But I don't like Goondog. He's a bit too long. They call their slugs. Now they can't now they can't even use any slugs. So they can't defend themselves. Nor can they destroy my slugs. They're stuck they're stuck with battling my slugs. And, so, of course, I basically just do random contact, con, con, things. I, not really drama, like, color. I do art. So far, only one. If you've watched my latest video, which I've made yesterday, um, then, please, to, like, of course, I like, say feedback, what should I make next? Or, like, what should I color next? And stuff like that. But, um... Let me just show you one thing. It was very difficult using it on a phone. And it's annoying when you use it on a phone. Makes me want to hurl. But also, there's a very big chance of basically everything. And also when there's, what do I keep saying also? See, so like sometimes I don't even need to do anything. Maybe more from furnace just like, takes care of it all. This video is not meant to be long, it's just some sort of little guide. And to help around. Basically. Like, let me go to my hideout. And I'll give a, I'll, I'll give a brief explanation. Of what I know does what. And it could be a lot of help to you in the future. So. Muckle Breaker. It devours smaller slugs. Like, stage 3 will devour stage 1 and stage 2 slugs. And... When it devours them, it transfers all the slug energy that was put into it, and you'll gain it for all the other slugs, including more macro breakers to use. Thuglet is not the ghoul version of Smuglet. Smuglet's the ghoul version of Thuglet. So Thuglet it has the ba an idea, basic idea. Little storm tornado thing destroys their thing. Slow Globus, uh, like, he just damages the opponent pretty much over time. Tanasha has has the same basic um idea of the Mako Breaker. Slyren um Slyren uses a song in order to um 
song right here. He uses a song in order to confuse a slugs against against the other player. Speed Stinger is fast. Goondark heals, takes away their health and heals you. Flatula Winkles has the base idea of Smuglet. X Finger uses bombs, and if they're not um, taken away in time, they'll blow up and hurt and hurt the other p opponent. Enigma, hang on. Okay, so Enigma charges your slug energy while well, it flies. Fit Dingo is the same thing. Um, vine Drill uses vines that hurt the opponent when it's in midair, when it's in flight. The rest are, it has, um, so let's see. So, in, in, so in the second stage, it deals with a lot more damage. Let's see, Forge Smokes are, okay, so it uses fireballs while in midair. Spike Shade uses spikes on the, on the, like, on the tile things. On the tiles where you control. And if they're not removed in time, they will damage you. Flaringo uses yes, blast burst attack. Flaringo uses attacks to damage fright guys that I used to use all the time. Like, let me just level up because I want to. But basically it just turns invisible and goes through all the slugs. So it's not really a good defensive slug. Frostcrawl is a really good defensive slug. Low damage, very low damage in fact. Level eleven does two hundred thirty eight damage, that's terrible. While level eleven smuggle it does six hundred thirty point seven. He's not really used for damage either, but he deals more. Now, now where is he? Frostcrawler, where are you? I do not see Frostcrawler. Oh, there he is. So Frostcrawler, basically he just makes an ice shield that the only one who can go through is a Megamorph, which right here is Megamorph Inferno, so I can go through it. Doom Spiker is a ghoul, is a ghoul speed stinger. Jellyish um, deals basically splash damage, and also, like, it slows down slugs and deals damage. Arachnid slows down slugs. Aquabeak is also like Speed Stinger, it's fast. Piper's like Spyron, he uses his song to confuse. Um, I already talked about Vine Drill. Armor Shell uses its Bruise Missile to destroy other slugs. Practically, and also damage the other person. Z Z thirty is an amazing one. The laser beam it says here, stage one Z thirty can destroy stage three megamorph four star infernus, max level twenty. While well, he's level one, he is an amazing defensive slug. Bubbleone turns other slugs. It um, it's like a mirror basically. It reflects the slug against. Grimstone damages other, um, defeats other slugs the same stage. Because normally a stage 2 would defeat a stage 2. Vice versa, they, they'd knock each other out. Grimstone would knock, if let's say he's a stage 1 Grimstone, he'll knock out a stage 1 Flatula Rhynchus or Flatula Rex. Flatula Rex is the same as Flatula Rhynchus. Hmm. Mega Shade uses... Sh like, it puts it puts the tiles that also deal damage over time. Um, Lava Lynx shoots fireballs, I think. Yes, shoots fireballs basically. Quicksilver is basically like a um, like an arachnid basically. It slows them down. Flaringo already said. Who else did I not say? Grenouk does a bomb basically and it's like not removed in time on the tiles then it heal does heavy damage depending on the level vampiro do, um like um charges all of them as you fly okay so charges their slug energy and deals and like basically it steals life points from the enemy and uses it to do healing dirt urchin it's like lava links basically. He shoots he shoots dirt. Taser Lane when when hit when he hits the player, he stuns the player. He's amazing. Why are they all here? Sand Angler, after he hits he he does damage over time. It shows him like going up and down from the dirt and sand and 
like basically just biting the player over time after he hits him. Let's see. Is that all I have? I think so. Grimstone is the, and plus not a, the Grimstone is the ghoul version of Ramstone. Where is Ramstone? There he is, Ramstone. This is Ramstone right here. If I can get him. There you go. Oh, um. Flatula Rex is the ghoul version of Flatula Rinkus. This is Flatula Rinkus right here. And Flatula Rex is right. If I can get him. Maybe Flatula Rex is right here. So, right here. That's what they look like. Um. I do not have all the ghouls. I almost have all of the ghouls. But I think that's it. Hang on. Yes. Oh, wait. No, I did not talk about Blastipede. There's Blastipede. Okay, how did I forget him? Blastipede. Basically, um, he turns into this horse kind of thing, which makes no sense, because Blastipede likes Centipede. I don't get it. But he deals... Um, he, shoot, he makes a mine... Um, on the battlefield, and when your slug touches it, it, it does heavy damage against the player. Who else did I talk about? Or was that it? Let's see. I do not. I do not have Phosphor, Tornado, or Hop Rock, so I can't really say what they do. Let's see. <laughs> Attacking it's obvious. Same thing as a Just, just, just does more damage. Amperling, same thing as Taserling. Bubble Ash, same thing as Bubblone. Enigma, I said. Goondark, yes. Frostfang, same thing as Frost. I'm a crawler. Pyrengo, same thing as Flaringo. And I don't, and I have honestly no clue what any of the elementals do. No clue at all. But, um. And also, I'll just level them up, just because I want high-level slugs sometimes. I got a lot of money to go around, basically. I mean, I'm, practic I'm practically complete. I beat the whole story mode of this game. So that's amazing. Just, like, a lot of things. And also, I get to evolve all the slugs. I mean, I'm nowhere near complete, basically. I still have to get all the slugs in the game. I st and Hoverbug's not out yet. Like, here, let me show you. No. Hoverbug. Oh, it's Sasha. But soon, I know for sure, I know for sure Hoverbug's gonna be released soon. Once it's released, I'll be trying to get. I mean, wait there. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, it doesn't have that big of a role in the show. There's a lot of things that I know that I've never seen in the show, or things like Goon Dock I've never seen in the show. Exactly. I've seen Goon Elementals. Vampiro doesn't really have a big role, he only has one episode. And he transforms into other slugs. Doesn't really... Does that. He's like an imitation slug, basically. Um, I think that's about it. But with the slugs... Uh... Let's see, how many... Do 12. Do the... Other than that, I'll just wrap up the video. Of Slug It Out number 2. Um... Sorry about that noise. But anyways, guys, have a nice day and goodbye.